at long last. EA Sports releases a modern follow-up to their massively successful extreme snowboarding action series, SSX. The feel of the previous games remains largely intact, with some brutal additions to the gameplay to challenge even the most dedicated SSX fan. For long-time fans of the series, they will recognise a few familiar faces, and in this latest edition, will be introduced to a few new characters as well. With a whopping 153 different slope styles, split into survival, race and trick modes, there is surely something in here for every snowboarding enthusiast. Opting for a dramatic take on real life mountains, SSX takes the player through nine separate mountain ranges scattered all around the globe. These include many well-known landmarks, such as Mount Everest, the Great Wall of China, Kilimanjaro and the Swiss Alps. The environments are rendered beautifully as are the character models and the snow feels crisp and fresh. Each mountain range has a number of different tracks and each track can be run in race or trick mode with certain tracks labelled as the Deadly Descents. These also feature a raw survival mode where the objective is simply to run the course for as long as you can before your inevitable destruction in the hostile environment. Each Deadly Descent features a unique environmental obstacle. Avalanche courses require you to view your character from a reverse angle, racing ahead of the fatal debris that is rolling down the hill, ready to crush you under a mountain of snow. From ice, rocks or trees to the extreme high altitude runs requiring oxygen tanks or even the Antarctic, where the enemy is the freezing cold itself. Stay too long in the shade and it's all over. There are some extremely technical courses where nothing less than the perfect line and speed will take you through safely. So strap on your snowboard, this is going to be a bumpy ride. The game features three basic gameplay modes, World Tour, Explore and Global Events. World Tour mode takes you to each of the nine ranges and introduces you to all the environmental obstacles, all the unlockable characters and nine of the deadly descents. You could possibly consider this to be the campaign mode, though the serious SSX player will probably think of World Tour as simply as an extended tutorial. Race and trick modes will be familiar to players, but the way the new survival mode works is you do your best to run the course top to bottom unscathed, avoiding the many hazardous obstacles on the way down. As you can see on this particular track, the major obstacle are the crevasses and for the most part requiring you to utilise the new mobility feature, the wingsuit, to survive. Upon successful completion, you jump back in the helicopter, get taken back to the top and start down again. Each further metre survived, adding to your overall survival score for that course. Explore mode is where you will battle with your friends and although the game lacks a true simultaneous action multiplayer mode, your best scores and times will be saved and uploaded as ghosts, likewise with those of your friends. You will be ultimately competing against each other's best efforts every single race, rather than the one time race you might experience if you were both running the course at the same time. In the end, this results in a seriously competitive game because you can't count on someone messing up you'll be racing against their best time every time. And for those unfamiliar with the intricate shortcuts in each track the uh, ghosts will give you some nice cues on how to uh, find those nice little spots. Global event mode is where you get a chance to take on the SSX Elite as these events are open to all online players and you'll find yourself up against some seriously competitive times and scores. Many of the best drops will have a large bounty which is increased by the varying initial entry charge and also by the number of players entering. RiderNet gives you access to a bevy of possible rivals. 
drawing from your friends list and also from friends of your friends list. With dozens of in-game awards, the challenge extends far beyond the regular console achievement system that all current games feature. And in addition to the rock, dance and dubstep soundtrack, EA has enabled the player to choose from their own custom console playlists to play any mode to any music they like, with your custom tracks getting the tricky remix treatment. And this was truly an outstanding move on the part of EA. In closing, I would like to say that as a true veteran SSX fan, owning every version since the first, I was pleasantly surprised by how entertaining the new multiplayer modes are, and I've found this game to be seriously addictive. Some of the courses are very, very brutal, bucking recent gaming trends of oversimplification in favour of a highly challenging, highly competitive game.